Hello, all. Uh, welcome to We Too. I hope you're all here and well. Um, okay, so for this week, we are uh, going to keep on moving. Uh, at the end of the week on Friday, this week, you have the object essay due. Uh, and so there's a few things I want to talk about with that uh, to kind of get you going on it. Um, I hope you noticed that I did post a library help page for you all. Um, pardon, uh, that our librarian Pam, uh, Pamela Martin did for us. Uh, th this essay does require some research, uh, and so uh, I hope you look there for help on how to do that. She, uh, we, we counted up the students here, and I, as far as I could tell, about half of you were in Logan and about half of you were somewhere else. Uh, and so that made it really hard on her to kind of give you um, good directions. Uh, so she's done her best to kind of straddle that line. She's offered help to both uh, the in-town people and the people out of town. So be sure to look at what she has there for you. So uh, that that will help a lot. And, and any research questions you do have, I'm going to kind of direct you towards Pam on that. Uh, she's given you her email address in the video. Uh, it is... Uh, pamela.martin at usu.edu. If you have any questions regarding that, please email her. I, of course, will help you too. I mean, I'm, I'm uh, fine to answer some questions like that, but she's much better with research than I am, and so I would suggest that. Okay, um, actually, I want to uh, show you a couple of things in here too. I Actually, just a second, I want to uh, switch out of my view and go into student view, so this should just take a second. Okay, as I, here is, over here is the um, library help that Pam did for you. I created a page for it. Um, sorry, I had to slip out of my view and go into student view. So that's what that, that pause was. Uh, so if you click on that, um, it'll bring up both a video uh, that she, she's graciously made for us and a libguide. The libguide uh, will give you uh, more help uh, uh, on this essay and on other essays that we're going to be working on this term. Uh, I've actually had the pleasure of working with Pam for years. We know each other well. Uh, she knows what I'm expecting, and so once again, she's a great resource to us here. Okay, so uh, week two on the pages, if you can click on that, uh, it will bring up this new new uh, page that I've just made. Uh, for this week, uh, you're going to be reading Ben Quick's essay, Agent Orange, a chapter from history that just won't end. Um, this is uh, this is a great essay. I should tell you up front, I know this guy is one of my good friends. Uh, he actually won a push card award for this essay, which is a really big deal in the writing world. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's a great essay. I'm really happy for it. And it actually follows uh, the format that I'm looking for in this essay, in the object essay, which is why I've actually assigned it. And the other essay that you're going to read for this week is Caitlin Matheson's Broken In, In Voices. Uh, Caitlin was a student of mine last year, um, and she had, well, I mean, it's changed a little bit, but essentially the exact same uh, essay prompt that you're all working with. And so uh, you should know that this essay got an A. This is uh, kind of what I'm expecting to see. So uh, read those two essays and, and go from there. Um, also, I... Uh, yeah, I want to talk about this right now. Uh, also, uh, for this week, uh, you, at the end of the week for uh, Thursday or for Friday at, at midnight, I, I want you to uh, have your uh, object essays done. Now, I realize that this is really not that much time, that, and that that should maybe cause a little bit of panic that you've uh, only had, you know, essentially you will will have only had two weeks to write your first essay. I know that's going to make some of you very nervous, but I want to remind you all of my revision policy as well, um, because that will help out, I think. I mean, uh, I want you to think of these, I want you to do well on these, and I want you to, to work hard on them, but if it helps to relieve some of the anxiety, think of it as a draft, and I'll get back to you on it. Okay, and uh, what I've posted on this week two page as well is instructions for posting uh, your essay to Google Docs. Now, the reason why I'm making you post it to Google Docs is uh, Google Docs allows me to actually give marginalia, which is an important thing. Uh, it, uh, well, it's an important thing to me. Um, if you'll notice the essay, or the the stuff that you turned in uh, this last week, I didn't do a lot of comments on them, uh, and in, on some of them I didn't do any comments. If you didn't get any comments on it, don't worry about it. That's fine. I'm. Uh, it means that nothing's wrong. You've fulfilled what I wanted you to do on that. Uh, I usually comment 
on things that I want you to improve or if I have something to say. Um, but just so you know, with when you actually turn in the essays, I will spend a lot of time actually going over each one and uh, giving you specific comments. And that's where I put a lot of my commenting effort is in your essays themselves. And so um, expect that when you turn this in through Google Docs. Um, just a couple of things that I want to go over with that. Um, uh, if you follow these instructions, they're, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, you should be able to, to do it just fine. But uh, it's essential that you use your ag email address. Okay? Uh, it's not going to work with any other address. It's got to be your ag email address. I, I know it is Google Docs, but actually ag email is a Google account, and so it, it works out pretty well. Uh, I also, just for my convenience, I want you to save it exactly as I have there. So your last name, summer 12, object essay. It just makes my job of organizing them a little bit easier. Okay, uh, And then you just follow these instructions uh, slowly through uh, and you'll be fine. Um, the other thing that I want to make sure that you notice is that the email that I have you uh, sharing is one that you probably haven't seen before for me. And actually, um, you should know this, I only use this email for, um, for grading purposes. I don't check it ever except for grade. So if you want to get in contact with me, the, my ag email address is not the one to get a to do uh, to get in contact with me. Uh, it's actually my just my USU address, so which is rust.beck at usu.edu. Uh, I will respond to those quicker than anywhere else, including uh, uh, on uh, Canvas itself. I noticed that some of you are leaving uh, questions on Canvas. I will get to those eventually, but it, there might be a day lag or something like that. If you, if you email me at uh, rust.beck at usu.edu, I will get back to you uh, usually within an hour or so. Uh, so that that's the best way to get a hold of me. So, um, okay. So yeah, make sure. But for for this, for when you're loading things to Google Docs, make sure you uh, use my ag email address. Uh, also, I'm asking you to do something that's a little weird. I'm asking you to make me the owner. Uh, I promise you I'm doing nothing strange with this. It's just uh, the reason why I'm doing that is it allows me to make comments. It also allows me to uh, make it so you can't change it afterwards. You can't j change that draft. And so it's like turning in a, it's closer to turning in an actual physical copy, which I like. So uh, follow all these instructions when you go to turn it in. You'll be fine. Uh, if you have any questions about it, please email me and I'll get back to you on it. So that's the major work for this week. I, I assume that most of you are going to be really working hard on your object essay, and that's fantastic. That's where you should be. So uh, I, we're going to talk about that. So to kind of help you out with the, um, with the object essay, I want you to look at the readings that we did for last week. Uh, the t I already mentioned the two that you're doing this week are great examples of what I'm looking for, particularly uh, the M Matheson essay, actually. Uh, although if Ben would have turned that in in my class, he would have received an A as well. But uh, the, the Matheson essay, I think, is something that you can kind of bite off and chew. It will work out uh, really pretty well. So uh, so be, be sure to, to look through that and, and, and see. But for last week, I want to talk briefly about some of these things. OK, so uh, the McPhee essay was probably the one that the most people struggled with. And I get that. I mean, he's, he's a tough writer. Uh, but he's also, I think, uh, most would consider him in the... <laughs> in the top five nonfictionists that are living today. I, he's, he's very well respected in what he does. Uh, he's, uh, yeah, he's very good. He's written multiple books, um, many of which are kind of dry like this essay, but they're just so good. Uh, he, he actually wrote a lot of books about rocks. He's really into geology, which I can kind of, you kind of get that in, I think, even in the search for Martin Gardens. But what I want to talk about with that essay is actually the structure of it, because some of you are actually uh, struggling with that structure. Uh, it's the, uh, believe it or not, that is the structure that I'm kind of looking for. Uh, it's, it's bouncing between uh, personal story and research kind of going back and forth. If you look at the Matheson essay for this week, she does the same thing. Even uh, Ben Quick's essay this week does that same thing. And so uh, be, keep that in mind. Uh, that's something that I'm interested in seeing. Uh, <clears throat> the other thing that I really like with the uh, McPhee essay is